Hello, it's Cab. Uh, we're doing a live. We're going to be looking at the state of the game community, uh, community. <laughs> and yeah, we're, we're, let's just get into it. Uh, let's go. Things I like. The ritual changes. This is really cool. I would like to just straight up play nine matches of whatever game mode I like and just do that. PvP players, they want to level up. All they need to do is play PvP. PvP players who want to level up, they do strikes. Me, a gambit enjoyer, um, I can just straight up play for this new machine gun, nine matches, and not be like, oh, but I, have, I need to do my strikes. Oh, I need to do uh, my crucible. I don't have to worry about that. So, very happy with this update. Um, this section... I'm a bit disappointed at that they can't have a dedicated team for like just straight up crucible maps like they even if it's just one a year they don't have a dedicated team for that that sucks personally I did not realize that the it, it makes sense I did not realize that the same team who makes the areas for the campaign missions and the exotic missions are all, all part of the same area I honestly thought the exotic mission people were probably with the dungeon and raid team. I, I would think that they would be categories over there. And then people who make PvP maps are the PvP team. So, uh, but there is no PvP team as well. Um, the balance team is just one big group. They work together on both sides of PvE and PvP. So that makes sense. Uh, still disappointing. But we gotta set expectations, whether we like them or not. Um, new map, happy with, of course. Checkmate sounds really cool. Uh, sounds like we're going back to year one PvP, uh, which is cool. It's a very primary focus. I'd like to see how that plays out. Relic, uh, super cool. Glad that it's in Crucible Labs before it's in Iron Banner because if this game mode is a little too chaotic to enjoy, I would hate to be forced to do that for Iron Banner if I wanted to play the new Iron Banner and get all the new weapons and armor. If there is new armor, I don't think there will be. Matchmaking improvements. I don't know. I don't play enough PvP to really say anything. Um, I'm glad. Fire team matchmaking is coming in. Hopefully, it has the same experience as it currently does. If it is a little bit worse, it's going to be unfortunate. A uh, new comp reward. That's cool. Me, I don't play PvP that much. I don't I think I've played comp the new version, maybe one or two matches. And I did it purely just to see how it was. If I don't like something, I'm not going to play it. Have not played Trials of Osiris since, I believe, August 2nd of 2022. It is 2023. It is August 8th. Or 4th. Uh, we're getting the Citadel map next season. Oh, wait. I thought this was next season. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that later. I thought that was next season. That's unfortunate. Oh, you know what? Last season's probably going to be a Dreaming City season. That's probably why they're going to bring it back. Maybe they'll put a mission in there. Keep an eye out on that. Note it. August 4th. I said that. Let's keep notes. Vanguard, um, it's cool that we're getting medals. I hope there's a reason to get medals. Um, it'd be cool to see if there's an in-game leaderboard. Probably won't see that. And if we do, it'll probably be in three years. Gambit, uh, just gotta say right now, I'm upset and I'm gonna protest by playing a bunch of Gambit next season. 
because I like the game mode. There's really nothing they can do. Bungie does not care. They don't want to put the resources in. It's not popular enough. Um, even though if you update um, a playlist with good updates, uh, I'm not point at anything, but with good updates, you get good engagement. Let's put that out there. Reward sets, um, unfortunate that they do not make quality armor sets for players to chase that are part of the, the campaign or the core activities. Um, what sucks about armor is that you can't get good armor stats on armor that doesn't drop from endgame. So just no one wants to chase armor It doesn't have good stats. No one wants to use armor if it doesn't have a good cosmetic look to it. Trials armor looks dope. Uh, the reason why it looks dope is because you have to pay for trials. Keep that in mind. Game security. Uh, good. Improve it. Live service game. Your live service game. Improve it. Uh, oh, wait. Chaos testing. This is actually very important. Chaos testing will be good for the longevity of the game. I highly recommend learning about chaos testing. Very good. Seasonal structure. I'm excited about this. Um, let's see where they say it. Uh, I don't think this is where they say the cool thing, but I'm, I'm glad that they're updating the structure. Um, I liked earning. Let me pull up the game real quick. Yeah, well, that's loading up. Um, I liked how we got the challenges that unlocked the, the I guess, the vendor. Uh, that was cool. Instead of having the time gated week by week, another was some time gating, but not all time gating. That was a big quality of life that I appreciated last season. All right, so this is the preview of what's to come. This is... A little bit confusing because this is also what to come. But I digress. Alright. Quality of life. This is really dope. Shout out to Ash. Their team and themselves put this together. Thank you. I'm glad that we're finally getting this. Uh, better late than never. Super excited for this. Can't wait to use it. Because I like using blue shaders. When I say blue, I mean rarity. So rare shaders. I like using those. So being able to pin them up to the top would be awesome. A lot of cool year one shaders that I like to use. Very cool. Thank you. Stasis fragments. Let's go. Uh, glad we're finally getting it. Better late than ever. It's going to be good for people who've completed the campaign. Glad we're finally getting it. Transmats. I've never used Transmat in this game. I don't care about Transmat in this game. Now I have a reason to care. Thank you, Bungie. Wish under improvements. That's dope. Can't wait. Um, I'm not doing the quest, but it's a good weapon for players who are getting it. Hopefully, uh, just the last wish and the Forsaken pack can be come free. I think it should be free. I, I think the campaign should also be in the game, but hey, Bungie knows more than I do. Am I right? Uh, it's cool that there is a resource tab coming in. Uh, this is for new players, clearly. It's definitely not for me because I know where everything comes from, um, but still dope. This, holy, good, good change. Let's go. So basically, you have two iron banners, or you have one iron banner, you have three challenges over here, three challenges over here. Hey, play the game mode, get extra rep. Hey, play the game mode with a certain subclass, you get uh, armor, you get the guns, cool. So if you want to technically be the most efficient, you would just go 
all right, match the subclass and go. But if you don't care about uh, the pinnacles, rewards, or the exotic engrams, which a lot of fully maxed out players will not care about, they can just go in and farm for the rep without being held back by their subclass because it says, oh, use void, but you like using solar. So big depths on that. Ritual rank ups are now immediate. That's cool. Uh, hopefully the rewards are not buggy like they have been for the past few years. Sometimes you just don't get rewards anymore or you don't get rep. So hopefully this fixes it. I'm very glad for that. Need some water. Strain aspects. Glad that they answered this. I didn't think we were going to get any. We'll be honest. Uh, predictions on what these are going to be. Um, Hunter Super can be used outside of Super. Just whip a 180, maybe. Banner of War. Probably going to be a barricade aspect where you place down your barricade and you give your teammates unraveling realms. That'll be dope. Uh, Weave Walk for Warlocks. This is a tough one. Uh, some people are thinking this is going to be the Icarus Dash for Warlocks or Strand Warlocks. I'm thinking you're probably going to get like extra movement speed for like having Thread Wings or something like that. Or Woven Mail ability where you pop your rift and you get Woven Mail. So we'll stay tuned and in tune for that. Exotic reworks. Let's go. Um, I care more about the quality of an exotic rather than the amount of exotics I have. It doesn't matter if I have 30 exotics, if only three of them are good, I do not care about 27. Now, if I have 30 exotics and 10 of them are good, I care about 10 exotics and there's 20 exotics that I don't care about. So I would prefer that any day of the week. New subfamilies come in. That's dope. Can't wait to see them. Weapon tuning. That's dope. Uh, more of a PvP thing, but there are some other things so we can highlight real quick. Let's see ya. Uh, yeah, we did. They they've done some of these already. I think yeah, they've done all all of those and future ones. So they're moving. So they're changing up zoom and how it works and decoupling it from range which has been in the game since destiny one so this is like a massive change a good change mind you so that's cool um hand cannon damage buffs coming next season sword guard rework can't wait to see how that is luminarch nerf uh, they call it a balance pass basically means they're nerfing it or bringing it in line balancing it uh, big buffs, the Touch of Malice. Uh, I have a friend who really likes that gun. Hope that they enjoyed even more. Uh, also buffing Bipod, Envy's Assassin, Under Over. I think Shoot the Loot is also something that they're looking at. Uh, for Bipod, very excited. My friend, another friend, likes this perk. Hopefully it becomes good enough to where it's not a detriment to use. Because currently, basically if you're using it, you lose out on damage, your wolf pack rounds lose out on damage, so it's not really a win-win to put this on. Uh, yep, they say same thing right there. Reinforcing our goals for the year. So, explain player's imagination. This is what I want to talk about. Now, without spoiling anything ahead of the showcase, next season we're heading into creative territories we've never explored before. So, I'm not saying that it's a horde mode, but I'm saying it would be cool if it was a horde mode. Now we're going to get it though. What I could see though is, so the next is nice to do with Sabathun. Maybe we're messing with her, like we got some sort of, we got to get her go somehow. We have her body, so maybe we can use that as bait. 
Or who knows, maybe Eris has like some ritual she can do. That'll probably be what happens. Maybe the Myrasov, she'll do some ritual with Eris. Use some light and dark magic. Revive Sabathun somehow, who knows. Maybe that Obnoxious. I uh, can't wait for that. For this. Uh, oh, feedback for deep dives and the pressure trials. 100% the right direction. 100% the awesome, like, awesome, awesome move. Thank you. My only feedback for it is, I think the activity would have been better if the match made version, you could only go up to tier 3. That's the max, because people are leaving because you can't, not everyone will activate Tolan. Which sucks. Um, personally, I'm not going to lie, I've left because I'm trying to do something and people are not activating Tolan, so I'm just like, alright. Uh, they don't need me. And I know. That sucks. I'll admit it. But uh, in the future, I think we should just keep the bonus objectives in a separate playlist that is not match made. So if you want to do the bonus, you gotta find people you gotta do with your friends. But if you just want to do the base activity, have that be the match made version. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, the final shape and the raid will uh, provide a cinematic conclusion to the Light and Darkness saga. That is dope. Uh, one problem with the current seasons slash past expansion, we have Lightfall. Or, yeah, yeah, we have Lightfall. And we're basically left with nothing at the end of the campaign. We do the raid. Nothing much comes out of that. We get an exotic mission. We get teased on, hey look, here's this one thing. This guy knows, but do you know? No, you don't. And then we get the next season. Oh, here's a crumb in this activity that no one knows about. Oh, here's another crumb. And then they do that for 13 weeks and like three people know about it. Then you also have a cutscene and a different activity which tells you the origin about a person and it tells you what they're trying to do. And you're basically saying that couldn't be in the campaign. Granted, Bungie wants to do the story and tell how they want to. That's all fine and dandy. There's just a lot of people who are going to miss that. And... Uh, the fact that it's built into six weeks of something else, three months later, it, it's hard to convince people to, to do that once they're already burnt out. Bring the challenge back to Destiny. I don't 100% agree with this, but hey, they do what they want to do. Um, I'm glad how they like where the power is at i think we should just get rid of power in general but it's probably just too built into the game at this point so no comment on that it's dope enriching our content uh very excited for this box obscure and operation Seraph shield of dmt um, I don't know why they didn't really mention this, but the dead messenger is craftable. Let's look at Twitter real quick. Let's see. Uh, Bungie. I know, I think it was under Destiny 2. I say it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, followed by Vox Obscura and a craftable dead messenger. Uh, they, have not, they have not said anything about this, which is kind of insane. They haven't said... They, they mentioned DMT. 
they never mention anything about Dead Messenger, so I'm hoping that it means they're going to add a perk to Dead Messenger. Um, hoping that... I'm also confused on what content you need to own to do this exotic mission rotator. Because Vox Obscura, I don't believe is in the game still. I could be wrong on that. Uh, we'll, we'll check that in a little bit. But I... I think this was tied to a season. So do you need to own Witch Queen for that? And for this as well. Do you need to own Witch Queen? Uh, do you need to own Beyond Light? Just need more clarification on that. Um, let's see. Uh, cool for this Pathfinder thing that we're going to get next year. Um, hopefully it's fully fleshed out and is complete connecting our guardians i'm glad they're adding in the lfg in game i'm glad we could have that and that's it for the article pretty good no complaints from me um except for just the what's it called the the fact that there's only like one team that isn't big enough to work on this like having a crucible team crucible map team and then story the like a pve team and a pvp team and that, that just sucks for me personally uh wish there was more let's talk about what i mainly want to talk about negativity to people in the community for no reason because they're upset all right People can enjoy this game. I fucking love this game too, man. I love this game. Without a shadow of a doubt, I love this game. But bro. When people are fucking with the CMs and you wonder, why don't they talk to us? Why do they make a separate account? Because they don't even feel safe on their own. That's what sucks, man. And then we got this giant threads. Giant threads. Just like, it, it, look at this, dude. We, we gotta relax, man. I understand that you're upset. But holy shit. Telling people, hey, uh, this is actually your job. Nah, it's just weird. Sammy. Sammy's always a positive person. That's what I love about her. She's dope. But then we got people in her comments. Just going, I said forward 10 back. Let's see. Should have focus. All right, oh, no, never mind. Wrong, wrong tweet. Where is it? Ashcat, boycott Bungie. Could you really be more out of touch with reality? This has to be satire. And then people complain about the Eververse, which, hey, it sucks. I don't like the microtransactions either. I, I think that shit's shitty. The A lot of focus on the Eververse sets. I don't like that either. Then we get people talking about, hey, and this is good feedback. Talking about bring back the, the Gambit Prime sets. And that's the update that we bring the Gambit, which they should do. It would be great. We got uh let's see. This is a two-parter from Jake Parker. I do not interact with this guy. Generally do not know much about him. Yeah, so that down. Alright, so what Jake says. In regard to tomorrow's state of the game, game development is hard. I agree. It's not easy. Major changes, especially one, two, an incredible two is one that is as incredible as Destiny is. Basically just saying thank a bungee dev. Which people started attacking him for. Let's see. Yeah. Crazy messages. 
wild. All these people coming at him. It just sucks. It sucks to be a fan of Destiny. It really does. And like, like he says, he appreciates the discussion on the good, bad, and ugly. Happy to see everyone vocalize about their passion for the game, as well as their frustrations, which I vocalized my frustrations. I've vocalized my passion for the game in this video. But you don't see me going around harassing people. Like, yeah, like this I agree with. Like, I'm not going to want to use an armor set like this when Eververse has this. It's plain and simple. It's just a bit wild to me. And there, there's positive people in the community. People are happy about the PvP stuff. That's good. I showed the gigs tweet already. But yeah. Let's not go for each other's throats. Shit's tough right now. It is what it is. If you don't like it, I think it's time to move on. Stop supporting Bungie if you don't like it. But if you're going to want to give feedback, do it in a positive way, man. No need me going out their throats. And if we're going to go out their throats, just stop buying. Plain and simple.